is Matt Heath who joins us now. Tell us, why have you fallen out of love with rugby? I think one of the problems with rugby at the moment is that there's too many games that mean nothing. With this WAS season, every game meant something up, an, up against an amazing Australian side. I was going to the same pub every week and the, the crowd was going crazy. Everything meant something. It's just hard up against the Warriors. It was just so full on and so exciting and the fans were so into it and it was, it was sort of bottom up um, excitement, you know, from the fans creating the excitement that uh, it's just a little bit tough for rugby right now, I'd say. What about the games themselves? We sort of remember those old games being a bit slow, but you watched the 87 Rugby World Cup final recently, and what did you think? This blew my mind. It came on, on, on the TV and I was watching and I was going, oh, yeah, old, old rugby was just people kicking the ball out. It was boring. But the thing about old rugby is they'd kick the ball out and then they'd rush over and have the line out. <laughs> they'd go for a, a scrum and the, the referee would just put his heel on the ground and they'd just go bang, they'd <laughs> crash into it and they'd go. It, they may not have been playing the most expensive type of rugby of all time, but at least it was fast. I just wonder if the, the problem is the game's dangerous and all the safety rules have slowed it down but also made it boring. Yeah, I mean, that's a problem for the game because UFC exists where people just try and knock each other's heads off and that's part <laughs> of it. it. Like, concussions are something you're lo looking to do. So you're going up against... People do have a bloodlust. They want to see violent contact in the game, but a, a sport, a... Uh, doesn't want to see that for the health of the players, but also probably doesn't want to see the legal consequences of people being really hurt. New Zealand crowds can be pretty dull, rugby crowds, but in Europe, they're having a whale of a time. Maybe the problem is not the game, but us. Well, I think there's a big problem for New Zealand rugby, especially around the All Blacks, where our song is All <laughs> Blacks. <laughs> like, that sounds like an insult. If you walked into a room and you went... <laughs> Matt hey. <laughs> it sounds like you're insulting someone. We've got to come up with better songs. We, and you know, and, and you know, the Warriors crowd at uh, uh, Mount Smart against the Knights. That they were, everyone was singing. The, the the place it was like an American or a European sports event. And I don't know how do you how do you make rugby fans sing? Maybe it's ticket prices. Maybe <laughs> maybe the people that can afford to go to the All Blacks can't aren't, aren't going to sing. I don't know. Given all of this, Matt, are you are you watching any of the World Cup games? Or are you over? Oh, I'm watching all of the World Cup games. In fact, I'm flying to France on Friday. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, go, go the All Blacks. <laughs> Up the blast. <laughs> Up the blast, indeed. <laughs> Matt Heath, thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Oh, kia ora. Welcome to the project for another week. And check it out. Act leader David Seymour is here. Nice <laughs> to see you. Do you have a view on this? Is rugby getting more boring? No, I just think there's more entertainment out there. You look at people watching basketball and football growing. I mean, how much, how good was the FIFA World Cup? People have just got more choice now, and it's a good thing. But I'll tell you what, if I got one big, big regret in my life, it's that I, I stopped playing rugby too early. I'd give anything for one more game, but I don't feel that rubbery anymore. Yeah. <laughs> how, how long did you play rugby for? What age? Oh, I, I played until I was 28 uh, with really? the OBU Onslow Bunnies in Wellington, uh, wow. under, 80, under 85 kg, obviously, uh, <laughs> represent. Uh, um, and it was, a, it was a good time, but it, it's more and more complicated. I mean, you, you practically need a law degree to play. Well, like that's, you, you mentioned the Football World Cup, the, very, the beautiful game, very few rules, right? And, and it, there's not a year goes by when they don't tinker with the rules of rugby. Is that yeah. the problem? No, they're not just complicated. They change fast. Like my last season, a coach told me at the end of the season they'd banned rucking. I said, if you told me earlier, we're going to save a lot of penalties. <laughs> <laughs> well, great to have you on the show tonight. Um, we're uh, talking to each of our party leaders, having them as fourth co-host on the project in the lead-up to the election. Looking forward to having David... Uh, with us th uh, this evening. And also, I don't think rugby is boring and up the blaze, love you boys, go, good work. <laughs> up the blaze. You can't, no, you're not allowed it. That's going to be a thing. You're not allowed it. That's going to be a thing. You're not allowed it. It's not going to be a thing. <laughs>